Hi guys, I hope you're doing well. Um, today's video topic actually came um, from a suggestion that Dan gave. And that is just the thought of how important it is and how special it is to just go visit a mom. A lot of times, as a mom, like I'm not out for supper socializing with people. I don't, I rarely go out for like coffee with um, friends. Thanks to Dan and others, I'm very fortunate to get my a pedicure once a month and that pedicure costs like $8, $9, something like that. And that's, that's once a month. And so a lot of times I go to school, do what I need to do at school, and then I come home and I'm doing different things around the house or, you know, um, doing different things with the kids. Now granted, we do have a nanny and somebody that helps us clean the house and that's such a blessing. I'm not saying that to brag or anything. The only reason that we, the main reason that we do it is because one, it's helpful, two, it's affordable, and um, and it's also helping those people have a livelihood here. And so, but I, I'm not like, I'm not going and visiting people and my social life is just very minimal at this point and that's fine and a lot of times when you're spending time with kids like they can do things that get on your nerves or just you know can frustrate you or make you upset or whatever and I've realized though in the last few days I've had different people come over just an hour maybe two hours at a time to just spend time with us you know, and they make the comment of oh I'm sorry that I'm not being super helpful because the twins are very picky on who they want to be held with held by and who they want to go to and that kind of thing um, but I want to let those people know that are stopping by and just talking and sitting with us like that makes a difference you know like I'm in a better mood when I have that time to socialize, when I have somebody to talk to, um, it's just humanizing, you know? It makes me feel good, it brings me to life, it's a good thing. And it's also just very helpful because I think the girls are in a better mood, you know, when other people are around. Thomas is in a better mood when other people are around. And yes, you might not be able to like help with help with the littlest ones you know they might specifically want to be held by their mom or um, their main caretaker but that doesn't mean that you like you know you can't help wipe a snotty nose or um, get bottles as needed or yesterday a friend was over and she helped me stir up their supper you know and make their oatmeal and um just little things like that make a big difference you know I there's so many moms a lot of times that just feel alone and they, they get this thinking of can I do this you know um, you know when the kids are constantly crying or whatever and, and even if Dan's home a lot of times he's got different things for school he's trying to get done or he's trying to work on our newsletter or you know he's just trying to wrangle Thomas and so, but lately we've had people on Saturday out of, there was two people that came over. One of them helped me with the twins and the other one sat on the floor and played with Thomas. And he just thought that it was the greatest thing ever. And then on Sunday, there was a mom that came over with her um, middle school daughters and her middle school, one of her middle school daughters hung out with Thomas and she and her other daughter helped with the twins. And it just, a lot, we, we, we talked, we laughed, we joked. It was just so 
good. And so I, if you go and visit a mom, don't feel like you have to do a lot. Now, you know, if it's a situation of you see different ways that you can help, go ahead, step in, help do those things. Um, as long as you know that, that the mom's going to be okay with that. But a lot of times, they just want somebody to talk to. You know, they, they've been talking to, you know, one-year-olds or four-year-olds all day long. And it's really humanizing and um, a blessing to... To get to, you know, it makes you feel like a real human and a real adult and to get to talk to other adults. So, if you ever have that opportunity to be a blessing in that way, um, yeah, I just, I pray that you take advantage of it. Um, it's a, it's a great ministry. A, a lot of times there's different resources and things for women or moms, but it's outside of the home. And depending on the situation, a lot of times it's, um, it's hard to get out. It's hard to go and do things. So those of you that have the means to, to travel and to go to the moms, like, that makes a difference. You know, if you go and you bring them a coffee. I'm not a coffee drinker, so if you brought me a hot chocolate or a tea or something, that makes me excited. Um, or, you know, if you bring them lunch or, or if you just come and sit there and say, you know, hey, can I sit on the couch with you? Or um, is there anything around the house that you would be helpful to have help with or whatever? Um, there's just so many different ways to outreach and to help and to be a blessing. And so I really would encourage you to, to think outside of the box. There's, um, there's a lot of things that we just wouldn't think about. And, um, just just going and spending time with a mom can really make her feel valued and loved and could be just what she needs to, to get through another day and, um, and to help the kids with whatever they're going through and, and to also help herself. So that's it for today's video. I hope that you go out and find a mom and be an encouragement to them and we'll talk to you next time. Bye! God bless.